Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Anujindal.in. So my name is Chetan Bansal and in today's video we are going to discuss the right way to cover content reasoning. Content reasoning ko aap logo ko kaise cover karna chahiye? What should be the approach? What should be the procedure to cover the syllabus of content reasoning? That we will going to discuss in today's session. So this session is going to be very very interesting and very very useful for all of you. So a uh, brief about myself without, uh, before we begin with the session. So my name is Chetan as I told you I have done my bachelor's and master's in commerce from Delhi University. I wrote CAT 2016 and I scored 96.5 percentile. Moreover I achieved an all India rank of 3 in UGC net commerce in December 2018. And I have a work ex of 1.5 years in CAG where I have worked as an assistant audit officer after clearing SSC CGN 2017 examination right now one very important piece of information and this you must be knowing that we have launched a crash course for RBI grade B phase 1 and phase 2 complete and this course is currently available at a very very discounted price of rupees 11,000 okay and if you want to know the details of this course then you can call on our helpline number which is available on our website okay then let us start with the procedure or the formula to cover content reasoning and to how to score high marks in content reasoning. So what should be the way? So I have divided your preparation strategy into these five steps. So you have to prepare according to these five steps. This will be very very useful if you follow this procedure. If you follow this process then uh, you can you can achieve good marks and your preparation will be more robust. Okay. So what is the first step if I talk about the first step so step one is covering the concepts topic wise okay first of all you need to cover the concepts topic wise okay so now concepts means that that concepts which we have studied in our schools up to class 10th up to uh, beginning from class 6 to class 10th jo bhi humne concepts padhe hote hain un concepts ki main aap baat kar raha hu so first of all you should know the concepts shortcut Come in next step. Before shortcut, we should know the concept. So first of all, you have to cover the concepts of all the topics of quant and reasoning. Okay. So reasoning may itne concepts nahi hote, but quant may there are a lot of concepts. Then once you are done with this, you have to go step by step. Once you are done with step number one, then you will proceed to step number two. And in step number two, you have to cover or you have to learn the shortcuts and the short tricks for quant and reasoning and that also topic wise. Then you have to learn topic wise shortcuts and short tricks. Learn karne hai. So this you can do, this you can do from my sessions. I am telling a lot of shortcuts and short tricks. So you can cover shortcuts and short tricks from my sessions. And also we have also made a lot of videos on concepts on, on our YouTube channel. So you can go to our channel, you can search the playlist for quant and reasoning. You will find a lot of videos on quant and reasoning. Some are concept based and some are shortcut based. And those of you who are enrolled, they must have got access to all such videos. Then once you are done with step number two and step number one and step number two, then comes step number three. And what is step number three? Step number three says practice the questions topic wise. So let's suppose on a given day you are practicing questions from time and distance. Okay, time and work, profit and loss. Then on some other day you will practice questions from some other topics of content reasoning. So you will uh, practice questions topic wise without setting the timer. So in step number three you do not need to set the timer. You should practice the questions based on the concept and shortcuts that you have learned. So basically when you are practicing the questions try to apply the shortcuts. Okay. Try to apply the knowledge you have gained in step number two and apply this knowledge in step number three when you are solving the questions on your own. So for practicing the questions you can refer to multiple sources. You can you can refer to our material. If you are an enrolled student then you can refer to our book on content reasoning or you can refer to, uh, to my sessions or the earlier sessions available on our channel or you can refer to, to some other books as well on content reasoning like Kiran publication or uh, books on content reasoning for CAT examination you can refer to those books as well for practice purpose if you are preparing on your own okay so once you are done with step number three then comes your step number four and what is step number four 
now again you will practice the question but this time you will practice the questions of multiple topics together you will mix the questions of multiple topics and then you will practice okay because sometimes what happens so in step number 3 you are practicing questions from a single topic at a time so our brain starts working in that direction okay but when we mix the questions then it becomes more challenging and more difficult for us okay so we have to gradually move to step number 4 when we will practice questions of multiple topics together so first of all you should try to do the questions without timer okay first do the questions without timer and once you have understood the concepts once you have understood the shortcuts then you should start setting the timer okay so you have to quickly move to step number 4 as an you have you cannot afford to waste a lot of time on 1 2 and 3 okay because we have uh, hardly two months left for the examination so step number 1 2 and 3 you should uh, according to your preparation and according to your basic understanding you should devote adequate number of days for 1, 2 and 3 but leave a good amount of days for step number 4 and step number 5 as well okay so you have to plan okay this will be very very individual for all of you you have to plan that how many days you are going to spend on each step okay then step number 4 as I told you practicing the questions of multiple topics together first without timer and then with timer now when you are practicing with timer so what you can do initially let's suppose you can take 10 questions from multiple topics you can mix the questions and you can set a timer for 10 minutes initially you can do this then you can increase the number of questions and the timer then 20 questions in 20 minutes okay I am just taking an example then 30 questions in 30 minutes like this you can increase the number of questions and the time so what will happen gradually your concentration span will increase so in, in our RBI grade B you know that in quant you will be getting 25 questions and for that you will be given 30 minutes uh, I think I have written reverse you will be getting 30 questions in quant you will be getting 30 questions and for those 30 questions you will be getting 25 minutes right and for logical reasoning or for reasoning you will be getting 60 questions and you will be getting 45 minutes okay so this is the original number of questions and the time available in the exam but in step number four you can you can use your own time and questions basically you can uh, gradually increase the number of questions so that you can increase your concentration span and once we are done with step number four then comes our step number five the final step which is practicing mock test okay with original timing what do I mean by original timing you will set 25 minutes for quant and you will set 45 minutes for reasoning okay Abhi, uh, in this session we are only talking about quant and reasoning for GA and English also you have to practice obviously but I will only talk about quant and reasoning in my session so quant and reasoning 25 minutes and 45 minutes so you will be practicing the mock test with the original timing okay so first of all you will attempt the uh, questions or the uh, sectional wise you will attempt the mock test section wise so you can let's suppose on a given day you can practice 30 questions of quant on the next day you can practice for uh, 60 questions of reasoning okay separately okay then uh, gradually when you will increase your concentration span then you can take a combined test of 90 questions you can take a combined test of 90 questions 30 questions of quant and 60 question of reasoning and you can set the combined time of 70 minutes okay so these these are the five steps which you should be following in order to increase your score in quant and reasoning this is the right way this is the right approach to cover the subjects of quant and reasoning and for practicing the mock test so if you are an enrolled student then obviously you will get access to our mock test you can practice from there or those of you who are preparing on their own they can basically set you can prepare your own mock test what you can do you can take any good book let's say Kiran publication or any cat level book and what you will do you will pick up randomly you will you can pick up random questions from that book from different topics okay you can uh, give equal weightage to all the topics of content reasoning pick up the difficult questions moderate to difficult questions from those books and prepare a mock test for yourself okay so once you have prepared the questions then you can set the timer in your watch or in your phone okay in your mobile 
एंड देन यू कैन प्रैक्टिस अकॉर्डिंगली तो आप लोग खुद भी अपनी प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हो दोज फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु आर हु आर नॉट परचेज आर कोर्स और हु आर नॉट द एनरोल्ड स्टूडेंट दे कैन प्रैक्टिस दे कैन फॉर्म देयर मॉक टेस्ट ऑन योर ओन एंड अदर्स ऑल्सो कैन प्रैक्टिस on their own by setting or by setting the question paper for themselves on their own so this is this is a very good technique which i have devised for all of you i think this will going to benefit you a lot so this is how you can prepare for quant and reasoning i hope this is very very clear now so this was uh, all which i wanted to discuss in today's session i hope you must have liked it and when uh, one very very important piece of information that as you all must be aware we have recently launched our application on google play so this is a very very useful application those of you who um, uh, might not have downloaded this application they can download it and you can also share it with your friends who are preparing for a government examination different government examination so in this application daily gk quizzes are available okay daily gk and quizzes topper strategies videos past year papers exam updates live video sessions and monthly gk so all of this content you will be getting on our application right so guys all the very best if you have any query or any doubt left you can post your query or doubt in the comment section below i will be very happy to answer all your doubts so guys all the very best take care have a nice day